Hello everyone. In this question, we are trying to calculate the Tabnet model uh, for this circuit from these two terminals. And uh, the idea here is that we have uh, a dependent current source, the current of which is a function of the current that would pass through these two terminals if there is any current passing through those terminals. Now, the process to uh, develop a Tabnet model which basically is uh, consisting of a source in series with a resistor, uh, V Tabnin and R Tabnin. As you remember, uh, the, we leave the two terminals open, calculate the open circuit voltage of the two terminals, and that would be V Tabnin. And then if there is any independent sources, we can then short circuit uh, the two terminals and look at the current, then take the voltage Tavnin divided by short circuit current and calculate our Tavnin. Now, in this specific case, uh, when we do the first step, which is leaving these two terminals open, immediately what is going to be resulted is that I phi would be zero because this is open. And now, once you do that, this current source also automatically goes away. So in the first step where we're calculating the Tabnin model for calculating the voltage, uh, the Tabnin voltage, I can actually remove this as the current I phi becomes equal to zero and therefore that current source also goes away. And there is no current here. And assuming that uh, this is my V Tabnin. Now I'm going to calculate my T V Tabnin. I can take that as my ground, that's 40 volts. And by putting that there, this automatically becomes my V Tabnin. And I can call that V1. And then I can write other equations I1. This is I2. Call that I3. Again, I3. And I4. Then you write a KCL for that node. It says I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 uh, plus I4. That's the only KCL that we need to write. Then equations for all uh, five of these resistors. And then you do the calculation and you can calculate V Tabnin. Now, I'm going to show you a shortcut to calculate V Tabnin. As you can see, this, uh, I can combine all, so these two resistors are in series, and the result is 96 plus 144, <coughs> which would be 240. And once I do that, that 240 resistor is in parallel with 40 ohm, in parallel with 80 ohm. So I'm going to quickly redraw that circuit. There's a 16 ohm here, and then these three resistors that are in parallel and then all that is connected to a 40 volts. So there's 240, uh, 40, and 80. Um, now the voltage that I'm looking for, the VTEVNAN is right there and therefore that's this resistance divided by these two in series or added to each other multiplied by 40. So now to calculate these three in parallel, uh, 240 in parallel with AD uh, is 240 times AD divided by 240 plus AD, and that turns out to be 60. Then 60 in parallel with 40, that would be 60 times 40 divided by 60 plus 40, and that turns out to be 24. So I can replace all of that with one resistor, 124 ohm resistor, and that's my V-Tabnin. So V-Tabnin is simply 40 times 24 divided by 24 plus 16. That's 40, so that's actually 24 volts. So I can quickly calculate V tap. That's that. The next step is to calculate the short circuit current. So 
the tabnan we already know is 24 volts let's move on to calculating the uh, short circuit So once I short circuit that, then there's actually a short circuit here, and this actually comes back now. This is 10 times I phi, which we're calling our short circuit now. And also you have to keep in mind that this V tabnan, since I have short circuited this, this is actually zero, the same as what it was, because these two are the same. Now, that is my V1, that's zero volts. <clears throat> and this, these two are no longer the same. Now, I, I can actually do something uh, to simplify the circuit too. The current I2 that I labeled there is zero minus zero divided by 80, so that's zero, so I don't have to label that anything. I'm going to call that zero. For this one, again, for this 40 ohm, zero minus zero divided by 40. So that current also is zero. So there's a two of these zero amps. So I1, I'm going to call that I2. I'm going to call this one I3. And that one is 10 times I short circuit obviously and that's our I short circuit so we're ready to write equations and KCL so KCL in this case for that specific node is it says that I1 is going in uh, and I short circuit is going out and I2 is going out and then for that node right there we have uh, 10 times our short circuit going in and I2 is going in and I3 is going out. So that's my KCL, my equations for components. So this one, I1 is equal to 40 minus 0 divided by 16. So that immediately actually gives me the value. I don't have to uh, do anything for that one because that's zero volts. So that uh, can be calculated. So 32285. That's 2.5 amp. Then uh, I2, so that component is 0 minus V1, so it's minus V1 divided by 96. And I3 is equal to V1 divided by 144. So now I can put these equations back in there. So 2.5 is equal to I short circuit plus I2, which is minus V1 divided by 96. That's that equation. And then... Uh, Um, 10 times I short circuit plus minus V1 divided by 96 is equal to V1 divided by 144. Now, <clears throat> you can take I short circuit and put it there. So... 10 times uh, 2.5 plus V1 divided by 96 
minus v1 divided by 96 is equal to v1 divided by 144. So that's 25. This is a 9 over, so 25 is equal to v1 over 144 minus 9 v1 over 96. So that's uh, 288. Uh, 2 minus 27 v1. This is minus 25 v1 over uh, 288. So v1 is actually minus 288 volts. So now we can put these back in here. So I3 is minus 288 divided by 144. That's minus 2. And this is 288 divided by 96. 96. And that's 3. So I short circuit is equal to I1, which is 2.5, minus I2, which is 3, and that's minus 0.5 amp. Once we have that, we can calculate our Tevnin being 24 divided by minus 0.5, which is minus 48 ohm. Now, uh, it may sound strange that uh, the Tevlin equivalent of this circuit turned out to be a negative number. Well, that's fine. Um, in this specific situation, as a result of this uh, dependent, by the way, uh, the, the, the dependent source being the way defined, the way it is defined, that causes the uh, Tevlin resistance to be a negative number. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, thank you very much.